Welcome to our channel. Today, we're exploring a fascinating aspect of crustacean biology. When do crabs molt? We'll dive into scientific research, uncover lesser-known facts, and delve into the historical context and practical implications of molting. Get ready for a comprehensive and engaging journey into the molting behavior of crabs. Crabs have been around for millions of years, with fossil records dating back to the Jurassic period. Ancient civilizations, including the Greeks and Chinese, observed crab molting but lacked the scientific understanding we have today. Modern research has shed light on this complex process, revealing its intricacies and importance. Molting, or ecdysis, is the process by which crabs shed their old exoskeleton to grow. Unlike humans, crabs have a hard shell that doesn't expand, so they must molt to increase in size. This process is vital for their growth, reproduction, and survival, making it a critical aspect of their life cycle. The timing of molting varies by species, age, and environmental conditions. Generally, juvenile crabs molt more frequently, sometimes every few weeks, while adult crabs may molt once a year. Factors such as water temperature, food availability, and hormonal changes play significant roles in determining the molting schedule. Molting is regulated by hormones, primarily ecdysteroids. These hormones trigger the molting cycle, initiating the separation of the old exoskeleton and the formation of a new one. Before molting, crabs undergo a preparatory phase called pre-molt. During this time, they absorb water to expand their bodies, which helps crack the old shell. They also build up a reserve of calcium, which will be used to harden the new exoskeleton. This phase is crucial for a successful molt and the crab's subsequent growth. After molting, crabs enter the post-molt stage. They pump their bodies with water to stretch the new, soft exoskeleton before it hardens. This expansion allows them room to grow. The new shell typically hardens within a few days, though complete calcification can take weeks. During this time, crabs are still vulnerable and tend to hide. Recent studies have highlighted the impact of climate change on crab molting cycles. Rising ocean temperatures and acidification can alter molting frequency and success rates. Crabs' molting behavior is not just a fascinating natural phenomenon, it's vital for their survival and the health of marine ecosystems. If you found this deep dive into crab molting intriguing, consider subscribing and exploring more about marine biology and conservation. Leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the molting behavior of crabs. From hormonal control to environmental impacts, molting is a complex and essential process. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video.